Hey everyone, I'm Zoc Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's major update brings a huge amount of improvements to the game as well as some new armour blocks. It sure is good to be back at the Keen Software House offices after being away for a couple of weeks. Gamescom was an absolute blast, with the highlight of the week definitely being the meetup with fellow engineers while wearing the complete spacesuits. Although it did get just a little bit hot inside there. Moving back now to today's update, the first thing you will notice when starting up the game is the changes to the main menu user interface. A lot of improvements were made as we focused on enhancing readability and usability of our interface while removing several inconsistencies and making the screens more visually appealing. We have also added additional tooltips, reorganized the contents of several screens and added a screenshot preview to the load game menu to help you find the right save more easily. With this new update, we are also adding two new armor block variations, the half block and the half slope block, because you wanted them. This will allow you to come up with new interesting block combinations and give your creation some more style variety. And this is something that we know players have been wanting for some time. These new armor blocks are a great example of how our recently created feedback site is working for both us as developers and the community. I recommend you check it out if you haven't already. On this site, you are able to vote and comment on ideas that you would like to see implemented into the game. If there's an idea that you feel is missing, go ahead and submit a new one. The progress state of each idea is clearly labelled as either considered, planned, started or completed. For more information, see the link in the video description. So far, over 450 ideas have been submitted, 850 comments left and 5,200 votes cast, with those numbers growing every day. The half armour blocks were the fifth most voted for feature on the site and our guys did it in their free time because they wanted to make our players happy. Next up, antennas have been reworked in this release. The window for remotely connecting to grids has been updated. It shows all broadcasting grids in range and the icons showing problems now work correctly. You can also now connect to friendly grids if they are unowned and we fixed exploits which allowed connecting to enemy grids. In multiplayer, antenna range is no longer limited by replication range. This affects both the normal and laser antenna and allows remote control over greater distances while at the same time having massively improved performance. For multiplayer, we have some more general improvements. The positions of characters are now sent relative to the nearest grid. This significantly improves walking around on a grid which is moving and rotating. We also improved what is called island replication, which translates in-game as there being no more infinite loading wheels and less strain on servers. Character and controlled grid movement is now stopped when the server doesn't hear from the client in some time, which should prevent certain deaths caused by lag spikes. Other issues fixed include most inventory desync problems and invisible trees for some clients on servers. Additionally, we resolved many issues related to grass and the rendering of grass. In other news, we will be kicking off a screenshot competition today with a number of different categories. The prizes include complete skin sets of the winner's choice and there's a chance that some could be added to the official loading screens. If you are interested, you can find more details on this competition and how to enter via the link in the description box below. For the duration of this contest, which will end on the 1st of October, we will be doubling the drop rate of skins giving you a better chance of finding some of the rarer ones. The next couple of weeks will also be your last opportunity to receive the veteran skin set as part of our special promotion for supporters up to this point. So make sure that you load up the game at least once to have that set added to your collection. Another notable announcement is that both of our games will be on sale with significant discounts over the weekend. You'll be able to buy Space Engineers as well as Medieval Engineers for 60% off. This is the perfect opportunity to pick up extra copies for friends and family or to get into any of our games for the first time. 
But that's all for now. If you're interested in the full list of features, bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week, and here's a quote to end on. We began as wanderers, and we are wanderers still. We have lingered long enough on the shores of the cosmic ocean. We are ready, at last, to set sail for the stars.